No, it's still a little.
Good afternoon. Can I have your name, please? You're on mute. If you can have the deputy or if you can take it off mute, that'd be great. You're still on mute. No, it indicates that I'm on mute as well. Oh. But I'm not. You're not. I wasn't sure. So okay. <laughs> Sorry. Great. <laughs> I didn't see. You. Wonderful. Can you hear me? Hi, my name is Jennifer Wilson. Okay. And I think I'm being arraigned today because I didn't get into jail here before 6 p.m. on Friday. But I did get in here. All right, Ms. Wilson, sorry, I got a lot of paper here I'm going through. Uh, this is case number 181-1430, State of Michigan versus Jennifer, Jennifer Suzanne Wilson. Uh, Ms. Wilson, I think you already have appointed counsel in this case. Let yes. me see who it is. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Ms. Perini, how are you? I'm well, how are you? I'm doing great. Good. Uh, so, uh, Ms. Wilson, Ms. Perini is going to be representing you today. Uh, I'm going to be talking to her as we go along, but if you have questions, you feel free to ask them, all right? Okay. All right. Uh, Mr. Burdell, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Your Honor. I'm going to take a wild guess that so you don't want to say anything on this one, but. Well, you know, I'm, I'm only appearing just because it's an older case with no bond form. I'm just letting the court know that we're asking only for standard bond. Yeah. All right. So, okay. Nothing further. No. All right. Uh, let's do our usual process. Uh, if you don't want to talk, turn off your camera. When you want to talk, turn it on. Okay. Oh. Good deal. <laughs> oh. uh, Ms. Brady. Uh, <clears throat> I have a uh, an order here from Judge Simpson. Are you familiar with that? Your Honor, I, I just know that what was in JAS, so Miss Wilson was to turn herself in um, by, uh, on the 7th by 6th. She, um, from what she told me, she turned herself in at 10 p.m. that day. Um, she had to take a flight down from Marquette. Um, so it was quite an, an ordeal for her to get down. She's been in a sober living house up in Marquette. Um, I assume Judge Simpson wants to see her before in jail before she's released. So if that's the case, we'd just be asking for a low cash bond so she can get some credit um, in the next possible date. Well, uh, Judge Simpson obviously has taken an interest in this. Uh, I have an order uh, uh, denying bond in this matter. 
Um, and I'm not I, since uh, I'm, I'm not privy to uh, Judge Simpson's uh, thought process in this. I'm not going to disturb it. Um, we're going to set this for a uh, pretrial. What's the date, Paul? I know I see him August second, August third. August second with the rest of her cases. August second, nine o'clock. Nine a.m. Okay. Your Honor, I, I know sorry that, that I sorry that I can't be more uh, expansive on this, but uh, all, right. all I've got is the uh, the bench warrant and the order. All right. Hey. All right. Understood. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Ms. Wilson. You're all set. Uh, Ms. Oh. Brini will be in touch with you, or somebody from her office will be to try and explain this and to. Uh, to uh, help you out uh, in the process before uh, August 2nd, okay? Okay, sounds good, thank you. All right, you are welcome, thank you. So I'll, I'll just hear from you, ma'am. Yes, you're all set. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, we'll be in touch, Ms. Wilson. <laughs> okay, sounds good. And I've got that letter in my, my uh, property. All right, <laughs> done. Okay. Hi there, can I have your name, please? Nicola Lisa Ramirez. All right. No, 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 no. We're not seeing her. What? We're not seeing her. Why are we not seeing her? We're not seeing her. No. You want to tell, would you tell the deputy that uh, we're not uh, having your case today? It'll be ready by tomorrow. Ms. Ramirez, so we're going to, I'm going to meet with you tomorrow. Okay. I'll explain a little bit more about what happened today, but you can let them know we're all set. Okay. You'll be seen tomorrow, unfortunately. All right. If you, yep. If you don't mind just going to the door, they'll bring you back to where you need to go. Thank you, Ms. Breen. That was the that was the complaint we just did. Pardon me. Good afternoon. Can I have your name, please? I mean, then. Thank you. I don't know why my screen still shows up. It's, uh, big. That's fine. Yeah, I know. Did you get okay. this? I, uh, just give me your name again. I mean, then. Okay. All right. Thank you. You. These are both, yeah. Yeah, the same thing, and it's already been arraigned on both. An arena? Yes.
Right, we're here on case uh, number 202-1211 and case number 212-0615. Uh, both of these are the city of Ypsilanti versus Amin Jamonte Benin. Um, Mr. Benin, you've already been arraigned in these matters. I do believe you have appointed counsel already. You do. And uh, Mr. Warren Green, are you going to be handling these? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Good afternoon, Alex Warren Green. On behalf of Mr. Bannon, I'm requesting permission of practice pursuant to MCR 8.120. Attorney Lauren Farini. You absolutely have permission, and you're welcome. Uh, you're welcome here. Uh, let me uh, put your uh, appearance on the record. We did a lot of talking on that, but just go ahead and put your appearance on. You are uh, allowed to practice. Go ahead. Thank you, Your Honor. Alex Warren Green on behalf of Mr. Bennon. And Mr. Bennon, if you could just state your name one more time. I mean, Jamonte Bennon. All right, uh, Mr. Bennon, uh, Mr. Warren Green is going to be representing you today. Uh, I'm going to be talking to him, but uh, if you have questions as we go along, you feel free to ask him, okay? Okay. All right. Uh, Mr. Warren Green, we seem to have an appearance problem here. Uh, what do you have to tell me? Well, Your Honor, I, when I looked at the matter, it appeared that these were going to be set for arraignment today. They are old cases. I know that Mr. Bannon uh, has been dealing with the driving license suspended cases, but he tells me that he's going to make efforts to get his license. I know that he currently lacks stable housing, so we would be referring him to our in-house social work team. I'm requesting personal in both cases. Okay. Um, if I had an early court date for him, I'd be inclined to keep him in, but I don't, so I won't. Uh, the uh, first available date uh, for the pretrial is uh, September 12th at 9 a.m. in both cases. So he's going to be released on uh, PR until then. Uh, but uh, please encourage him to uh, appear and uh, to recognize how important it is that he appear this time uh, for the court, okay? Absolutely, Your Honor. I believe Mr. Bennon is here about resolving both of the matters. Okay. Mr. Mr. Bennon, um, Mr. Warren Green is going to be in touch with you or somebody from his office will be in, in touch with you uh, prior to uh, the uh, September 12th date uh, to help you through the process. In the meantime, uh, do you have a valid driver's license? No, not right now, but I will be uh, eligible to receive it in uh, November. I went and paid uh, whatever fees I had back in March of 2022, and they told me I had to wait a year for my last ticket or something like that, or two years for my last ticket. <laughs> okay, well, let me tell you this. You should work on it, trying to get that valid driver's license, but until you do, no driving. Understood? That's a condition of your release today. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, Mr. Warren Green, anything else? Nothing further, Your Honor. I believe Mr. Bennon has paid all the clearance fees, cleared the holds on his license. He just has a hard suspension that he needs to resolve. And I think he's making positive steps towards getting his license back in a timely fashion. Okay. Well, you can only do what he can do. All right. Uh, we're all set then. Uh, Mr. Bennon, uh, we'll see you back here on the uh, 12th of September. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I'm good. Mr. Good afternoon. Are we confirming that Magbrae is not going today? Is he refusing again? Yes, he refused court today. Yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Doe, did you catch that? I did. I could I just ask like what what is the, the plan? If he, he's refused like three days in a row now, is he or is we're just gonna keep trying? 
We keep trying until, uh, I don't know. Until he says yes. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, thank you. Thank you.